Hello students, we are discussing transport in plants. So in that transpiration. So transpiration means it is a loss of water in the form of water vapor is called as transpiration. So in that transpiration process, it transports water and minerals, soil to plant body, soil to entire plant body. So that is called a transpiration. So transpiration has both beneficial as well as harmful effects are there so it shows beneficial effects and also harmful effects to that plant so let us discuss about what are the beneficial effects and what are the harmful effects right so initially beneficial effects so beneficial effects so it creates a transpirational pull it creates a transpirational pull it creates a transpirational pull means upward movement of water molecules against gravitational force that is also called as ascent of sap so there so it creates a transpirational pull so for absorption of water molecules so pulling at the window of water molecules and a pike and draw through right and then it supplies water for photosynthesis it supplies water for photosynthesis so according photosynthesis formula 6 co2 plus 2H2O gives rise to C6H2O6. So, something. So, you can see C6H2O6. So, to formation of carbohydrates, it requires 12 water molecules. 12 water molecules. So, so, that water molecules are supplied through this uh, transpiration. Through this uh, transpiration. So, it supplies water for photosynthesis. Right. And then it uh, transports uh, minerals. Along with the water molecules, it transports minerals also from soil to entire plant body. Entire plant body. And next one is it cools. Transpiration cools leaf surfaces. Leaf surfaces or plant surfaces. Why? Because so uh, sufficient uh, sunlight. Sunlight is exposed to the plant part. So plant parts are exposed to sunlight. So it leads to oxidation. So it prevent. Uh, oxidation of plant parts especially like leaves so leaves you know temperature and control chair and key it transpiration and the it cools transpiration so transpiration and the cooling effect is in the plant go right and the next point is it maintains the shape and the structure of the plants it maintains the shape and structure of the plants by keeping the cell turgid so water intercolor of plant cell emotionate so, lower can enter on the water, it will undergo turgid. Turgid and ubadam. It will undergo turgidity. Then, cell uh, get perfect shape. So, maintains the shape and structure of the plants by keeping the cell turgid. So, and also along with the beneficial aspects, harmful effects also there. So, those are excessive transpiration. So, transpiration is more. Then, what will happen? It makes the cells flaccid flaccid and moods kodam folding so the cell undergoes flaccid why because it losses water molecules from the plant body because of the transpiration more transpiration right and it retards the growth of the plant body so the growth of the plant so growth and the retard it retard means it controls the plant growth and photosynthesis also limited because of the less number of water molecules so one of water molecules transpiration that are the way, only little amount of water molecules are there so that photosynthesis is limited.